What's up everybody? Welcome back. Today we are making Maryland crab cakes the Kevy way. Trust me, as a Maryland boy, this is a foolproof no-brainer. I made these for a catering client of mine and well, I'll get to that in a minute. But we're going to start off with cutting our fresh parsley. Nothing like the herbaceousness and the pop of color that fresh herbs give you in a crab cake. A little slice it, dice it, put on icy, looking wonderful. Use our dough scraper there. Love this thing, look at that. Man, it just smells so great already. Now we're gonna build our base. And it can be called many different things, but I call it a base. I'm gonna add in one of our organic eggs, cause we're bougie. Bloop. <laughs> Set that aside for discard, and then we're gonna add in our mayonnaise, cause you know Dukes is like the mayonnaise. If you haven't tried Dukes, get your entire life together. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss a video and give this video a like. We're gonna drop two of these tablespoons of mayo into the bowl, or AKA, we also call it a glob, bloop just like so. Gonna dust off a little yellow mustard. You could even substitute dry mustard seed or, uh, or mustard powder, pardon me, or spicy brown mustard if that's your business. A little minced garlic. This one is something uh, relatively new in my crab cake fixings. You can totally omit this or if you like garlic like I do, throw it up in there. I don't judge, that's your business. The Maryland staple, Old Bay seasonings. Let the spirit guide you. I'm not even gonna give you a measurement for this. If you want more, throw more. If you want less, do less. Little onion powder never hurt nobody. So our guest didn't like actual onions. So she was okay with me utilizing onion powder as long as she didn't taste and bite into the sweetness of a Vidalia onion, you know. And this Old Bay hot sauce is just something that every crab cake should have. Just a little depth of flavor and a little kick. And once you have everything uh, in your bowl, or in your base, just ready to go, get your whisk on. Whisk for your life. <laughs> and whisk until everything is, you know, well incorporated and combined. And you'll have this consistency and it's just ready to go. Now, typically I would tell you to taste everything. Right now, there's raw egg in here. I don't want you to taste any of that. Um, but it should look like this. This is the appropriate viscosity and we're ready to move on to our next step. Adding in our lump blue crab. I actually steamed and picked all this crab meat uh, to make this video because I couldn't find lump crab anywhere. So might as well go and get it done. Get back to my roots. <laughs> oh, look at all of that. I attempted to hold a part of this aside and use some crab meat for something different. And then once I started pouring, I just couldn't stop. <laughs> now, you can add in your binder or your filler, whatever verbiage you want to utilize it for or whatever you want to call it. I don't like to add a lot of this or any, if all, if at all. It could be breadcrumbs, it could be crumbled crackers. Something I tried last year that I need to go back to again was a chicken and a biscuit cracker. If you've never had one of those crackers, Hit your nearest store. I'll put a link in the description box. Those crackers are old school good. Trust me, just trust the process. But gently fold in everything into your, your mix and you don't want to break up your lumps. You've heard that a bajillion times before in other videos, but it's true, it's, it's the test of time. Gently fold, not mix. 
um, and then you'll get the appropriate consistency. If you feel like your crab cake mixture is too watery, then add a little more filler. But you're gonna roll it once it's done and it's gonna look like this right here. Roll it into a ball, form your little cakes, and then we're gonna be ready to move on to the fun part, pan searing these babies. And that's just about perfect. Look at that, oh, so good. Let's go. All right, so I chose to pan sear uh, these crab cakes. You can broil them, you can bake them. Um, a friend of mine actually recommended that I try air frying them, and I'm about that air fried life, but you know, we'll check it out. Um, we'll definitely see how that shapes up in another video. I love to make these crab cakes as often as I possibly can. Uh, I don't make them nearly enough uh, when I'm down here in Florida. Feeling a little homesick, then I make all my Maryland food and it gives me just a little taste of home. You know what I'm saying? All right, now that our butter is getting nice and melted, we are going to get our crab cakes and get ready to sear them off. have it nice and molded just like so no air pockets no excess moisture just a beautifully decadent crab cake of goodness you already know what to do place it in let go and let have got our fire set to medium high heat and I'm gonna sear these for about four or five minutes aside uh, I'm looking for a beautiful golden brown crust um, and then we'll give them a beautiful flip and you could do a brown butter baste on these to just really knock everything out and seal everything through. You could if you like uh, to sear them on one side in a pan on the stove top and finish them in the oven with a little broil or bake just until they're cooked all the way through. We're just trying to cook off the, the egg in this and the magic of that egg in the binder will keep your crab cake together. I should have formed all these crab cakes at once instead of, you know, one at a time, but whatever, it's all good. Now comes the time. It's been about five minutes. Gotta do a little test. Find one that flips easily. And that will be golden. <laughs> that was a funky little flip. Lord knows what I was thinking. But you're getting the gist. You know, you find a, a good comfortable angle. Look at that golden brown crust. Like, I would love to make these the sandwiches. I would love to just devour them as is and they aren't even finished yet but the house is smelling amazing these crab cakes are smelling divine like it's all good baby it's all good after all remember you gotta eat there we go i gotta work on my flipping because that is just sad <laughs> but anyway uh we're gonna just finish these off sear them up beautifully you want them golden brown on both sides um, and then you, we're gonna plate them up unfortunately I'm not going to be uh, devouring these because these crab cakes are not for me today they're actually for a very dear friend of mine who placed an order so I'm just fulfilling said order and living my best life <laughs> I did make a couple extra off-camera for me for later but they were already paid for don't at me in the comments <laughs> Yeah, with the magic of television, we have sped up our little camera and now we are ready to plate these up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about how to make these crab cakes, do not hesitate to drop me a comment or out of my DMs. I'm always available. You can find me on the gram at Bougie Boy Eats. You can find me on Facebook. Link will be in the description as well. The uh, full recipe for these crab cakes will also be down there as well. And there you have it, folks. Maryland Crab Cakes by the Maryland Boy. 
Mm, mm, mm. You talk about some kind of wonderful. <laughs> Thank you all for watching and not skipping. And always, as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.